Okay, I want to say welcome to my printer. Uh, this is my Creality V2 FDM printer. And as you can see, I've got a nice large print right here. Now, this was my settings test to go from which temperature worked best. And as you can see, there's little layer lines in here that let me know when I was getting to a good temperature range. Well, to start off on this very large and very cumbersome print, I had to make certain that it was adhered to the bed as well as possible. As such, even though it's cooled off, it is still very well attached to the bed. So what I want to go over to you, with you right now is how to get this off the bed without force using the uh, spatula that it came with. Now, just to iterate, so to iterate, this was a six day print. In order to make certain that it printed the best that it could, it had to be adhered as well as it could be. This ratty old thing is the scraper that it comes with. Now, most of the time, people will come up to something like this and give it a good shove and try to get it to adhere, uh, well, unadhere to the bed as good as possible. And though you may get some progress on things such as this, wiggling it under there, will help you get it to pop off the bed. But sometimes some prints are much more stubborn. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, and of course I'm going to get it up to and as close to the lip as possible. And once it is there, and I know I'm at the point where it is on the build plate at this, I haven't gotten under it yet, and I'm going to take this and I'm going to use my thumb to wedge it left and right. The more I do this, the more it's going to work itself underneath the print. And I don't have to use a lot of force as leverage becomes my friend. Slowly, over and over again. As I say that and it's being difficult. Slowly, over and over again. There we go. You hear that? No force, just gentle left and right prodding, and now I'm underneath the print. Now, you can tell it's still pretty well adhered to that as I give it a lot of force. I'm just going to have to trace it all the way around. And if I have to use that same method and give it some leverage, I will. But I'm just going to start going around the corners. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Oh, that sounds great. Well, it looks like I need to do this side now. Oh, that was much easier. Oh, I've got a spot right here underneath. There we go. And as you could see, there was very little holding that to the bed except what was out the brim. This is a zero bottom support. And you know, that needs to be cleaned up, but you know, I didn't need any support on there. This is a complete bucket. Mando me, baby. Oh yeah. Uh, obligatory, this is the way statement. Anyway, that's all this video is today. And with that, I hope you guys stop destroying your beds. Use that technique. It works on all printers, all types of beds, including SLA, MSLA, all FDMs. Um, I know if you're using the wham bam, you don't need it, but you know, sometimes you gotta. Anyway, happy printing.